Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about you know uh, range and output element in HTML and uh, how to process it. So let's get started with the program and uh, I'll just enter the first few things um, and then you know uh, get going with it. So we first we have the HTML tags, then the body tag. then just uh, just one heading heading one close the heading and then the paragraph and then i have the actual form action equals to the PHP page that we have which will give the output then on input equals to x dot the LU value equals to parse parse and just give the I capital for the integer a dot value because there's a range and plus we want to do a 50 like another input and then give it out this p dot value it's a normal addition but it's just that we are defining the range from the user so it starts with zero the range then give an input type equals to range id is equals to a the starting one I mean the, this will go into a value then actual value is equals to 50 then this one added with 100 plus so 0 to 100 range then another input type equals to number ID is equals to B name is equals to B then value is 50 then this is equals to the actual output equals to name this is the actual output x then this is an output for a space b a and b that is and close the output then give two breaks then the actual submit button Close the form, finish, close the paragraph, close the body, close the HTML, copy it all, take it to your emulator, let me just clean up everything, then paste it, click on run, okay. So let me just see if it's visible. Yeah. So you can see that, you know, uh, this 0 to 100 is the range of that we are taking from the user. 
then plus this is also something that we are taking from the user so a value plus b value is equal to the x value so in between if i try to keep it in between you know exactly in between so it's like 50 plus 50 is equals to 100 maybe we can you know just change it to 77 accordingly this changes so that's the equal to thing and if you want to know the value of a and b then i will click on the submit button and uh, the actual php returns the value of a is equal to 50 the value of b is equal to 77 which we have defined so a was in the middle range and b was in on 77 that we took from the user so let me just click on run again and you know you can see it again so again uh, 50 plus some value in like 76 or anything so that's how it, that comes out to be 126 and you click on submit and you can see that you know it's taken uh, value of a 76 b is 50 so that's it for this video that's how you define a range and you know take it from the user and give the actual outcome uh, with a mathematical formula